<laughs> the big one. <laughs> I mean, Shay just threw a good pass, and I already knew in my head I was going to do a trick. I didn't know what trick, so I just jumped in. Whatever came to my mind, that's what I did. What about when Shay shushed the crowd? What, what were y'all thinking? I mean, that's what he does. He's a, he's a crowd silencer. I mean, when they think that they're making a run, he just comes down and it's a big shot. And that's just the best feeling. And we felt great, and then we came down and got to stop it, I believe. So, just a great run right there. Why don't teams have an answer for him? Uh, I mean, he's just too long and too good. I mean, we have too many weapons. I mean, you can't have an answer for everyone on our team. It's just too many of us. you ever have to guard him in practice? Yeah, I guard him in practice. Does he wear you out? No, I mean, he wears me out by wearing him out. I mean, we're all good players and great defenders, so he's real tough. If you see us in practice, we don't really score a lot. PJ, when you're locked in, how good of a defender are you? Uh, I think I'm one of the best defenders in the country when I'm locked in. I mean, and I've been locked in ever since. I mean, the SEC tournament, but even a little before that, just trying to lock in and get better every day and just regain confidence in that. I mean, I lost a little bit of confidence in it, and I just regain confidence and I'm trying to run with it. That's the type of play I'm trying to be. I'm trying to make a stamp of a two-way play. Did you ever reach the moment where you, you had that moment where you said, all right, now that was go time, now I'm locked in? Uh, it wasn't no really moment. I just had to refocus on my game and just reevaluate my film and just see how I was looking out there. I wasn't looking like the defender that I am. Because it felt like it's, your defense has allowed you to contribute offensively. I mean, yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm just playing great defense, and when I'm playing great defense, your team is going to reward you no matter what. Even if I'm not scoring the ball well or if I'm not getting baskets, I'm always going to take pride in playing defense throughout this whole tournament. Thanks for being perfect. Did you decide the defense was how you were going to climb up? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I think that's, how, that's what I thought, but I mean, I've been playing defense. I had zero points game. I played good defense in the SEC tournament. I mean, I've just been trying to lock in on the defensive end and just trying to take the best play on the squad, on the game. And I've been having some huge blocks. I've just been trying to use my players. So. How good did that feel? You had the block early on where you looked like you just came out of nowhere this guy and blocked the shot. Did it kind of set the tone for, not only for yourself, but kind of send a message to them? To yeah, definitely. Well? I mean, that's the type of team that we are. We're all athletic. We all could guard out of the space. And that's what I did in that play. I seen him driving. I was on the weak side. And I just jumped up and took it out of the air. And that's what I tried to do. Just how good that, did that performance out there feel for you? I mean, it felt really good. The best part of it was just seeing my brothers happy for me, seeing coaches happy for me. And now I just got to build up. I can't let, it, let go of the gas now. Just going to keep pushing. And get to the Sweet 16. Huh? That's exciting. I know you have bigger goals in mind. Right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we got bigger goals in mind. We're in Atlanta now. Now we got to take care of business in Atlanta just like how we did in Idaho. When you're, getting that, you're making that little curl and getting the ball in the lane and making the drive to the basket, are they playing you more for that, giving you a little more room than on, your, on the perimeter shots? Uh, I mean, the I'm way just, you're driving the ball right now. I'm giving them whatever. I'm, I'm taking whatever the defense is giving me. To be honest, I mean, if they're guarding me, like two up, I'll probably stop and pull up. Or if the lane is crowded, I'll stop and pull up. But if I see an opening, I'm going to the lane, and that's what I try to get back to because I know I, I could get to the lane really easy, and that's what I'm good at. That's what I try to do. Chase said there was a moment where he felt like he had to take over. If somebody else is on the floor, as he does, mm -hmm. to like. I mean, yeah, I mean, he's hot. If he's hitting shots, he's making the right plays. I'm more for him. I, mean, we, I feel like anybody on this team could do that. I mean, we have a bunch of scorers, and if you're making the right plays and you're just doing it within the system, I'm more for him. It seems like he's taking it to another level like, to have that guy playing that well and at the controls of your offense. What's that like? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's just great. It's just a great feeling knowing that we got a great PG like that. We got a PG that can turn it on. It was pretty obvious earlier that they pr pretty much could not stop him. So how, how good is it? Because you, now you know that the offense is going to open up more because they have to double down on him when he drives. I mean, it's great. I mean, that's great for all of us. I mean, we got everybody on the court can score at any given time, so that's the best part about it. If you try to shut down all five of us, it's going to be an interesting game. <laughs> so. Just paid attention to the draw at all. Virginia is out. I mean, yeah, we pay attention to it a little bit, of course. But I mean, if the team that beat Virginia, I mean, they're a great team. If they could beat Virginia, they could beat us. So we just got to stay focused and stay motivated. I mean, we know that any game that we come out, any team could beat us. March, and this is when crazy things happen. Could that have been a little bit of a wake-up call when you see that Virginia did lose that game that, you know, what anybody can get, can beat anybody? Not a bit of a wake-up call, just more motivation. I mean, we just try to come out there and pound guys. So that's what we did today. We came out and we just proved that we could get after on both sides of the court. And we did great. We did a great defensive job. And we did a great offensive job. What about the trash talk bothered you guys the most? Huh? What about the trash talk from Buffalo bothered you guys the most? A lot of guys said that they were took it personal. I mean, everything. I mean, we're not a team that takes that lightly. So I don't think that's a good idea. Trash talk any team. I don't think any players will take that fight.